Hey guys, welcome back to Twist and Shout. I'm Char, and today I have a cartload of confessions. Confessions from a natural chick. Yeah. So, for prompt me here, um, it's been a very rough week. I'm talking about emotionally, anxiety, stress, just through the roof. Um, and guess what? The crazy thing is, it has little to do with the coronavirus, like very little. And I feel like that's because my anxiety is more social. So the fact that I get to stay in and not interact with people is actually like, thank God. But I think also what happens is when you shut away from the world, you start dealing with your problems. And I believe that's why God did this so that we can actually sit down and focus. For example, hi, my name is Char. And I am an addict. I am addicting to buying new things. And I'm also a hoarder. And you don't really get to sit down and deal with this thing until you actually sit down and deal with this thing. Like when you keep going to the store and bringing stuff home, you know, you don't, that part, it seems easy. Transaction, you get what you want. You, you sue the, satisf the satisfaction in you. And then that's it. But it's bigger than that. For example, all this stuff back here that I probably won't even use or don't even need. And there's a whole bunch of stuff right here, too, that y'all guys can't even see. But we're going to get to that in a second. So, let's get the politeness out the way, shall we? My subscribers, Twisted Girl, I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for blessing and praying for me. Um, to my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you also. I already love you with the love of God. And hopefully you can learn something from this. All right, so... All right, so let's just get into it. Y'all know that I did a giveaway, or I'm in the midst of a giveaway, of um, trying to um, get a line, like just a whole line and stick with it. And y'all, since I opened up my mouth and said that, I've been seeing sales and um, new products. And it's just like, Char, you're doing it again. And what I mean by that is because not too long ago, I started cleaning stuff out and giving a whole bunch of stuff to my sisters. And then I'm right back with almost double the same amount. So what was the point? And I've been shut in and I've been trying to stay focused and, and be busy. Been reading my word, praying, fasting, been doing a bunch of DIYs. And even that got overboard. Like I just one day dumped all my shea butter, uh, shea butter in, a, in a mixture bowl and started just... Long story short, I got a whole bunch of crap that probably won't even use. Yeah, that part. Um, and shea butter isn't cheap. So it's like, yeah, you, you need to get your mind right. But that's just like God to, like, we don't understand why this is going on. All we know that people are dying. People are uh, suffering. People are in pain. But some of us just needed to sit down. And for some of us, we would not have if it was not for this coronavirus. That's just plain and simple. Like, I hate to say it that way. And I know somebody's going to say, we didn't deserve this, but we're not God. We don't know what until it actually happens. And I can tell you God is already doing some stuff in me. He's already showing me some things. Like I said, when you're out in the world, you get to go shopping, go in different stores and different things. Like you don't, you don't think much. You're just on a whim. Like, you're just on a natural high of like, oh, I get to go shopping, I get to buy things. But then when you come home, and then the reality of it is, you got a whole bunch of crap that you wasted money on, and that money could have went to better use, such as time like this, when before this even happened, you probably say, you know what? I should have kept a stock of tips you just in case. I should have kept a stock of canned goods just in case, or um, germ mats on hand sanitizer or a first aid kit. Like those are things that are important, especially when things go wrong. But what can this do for me? Nothing. And literally as I'm speaking, it's just like, God help me because I messed up. I'm a hoarder, I'm a junkie, I'm an addict to purchasing new shiny things. And yeah, so. Um, in light of this, uh, video, I'm going to, um, show you guys what I actually bought. And this is in the midst of me trying to pick in line until I start saying this is starting to add up. But here's the hypocritical part. I start getting things from each line that would have equaled up the one line. Crazy, right? Trick of the enemy. Like, you don't need all that stuff. Like, and you know what? Some people can try new things for the public. But they're usually sponsored or, you know, PR boxes where they don't have to spend their own money. 
So it's like, you know what? You can't get mad at them because it's free stuff. And they're being told to do so and they get the video uh, paid for and everything else. But for me, I found out my pockets like, no, I don't know. This wasn't a good idea at all. But, and I'm also going to show you guys some things I'll be throwing away. Now, some stuff I already did because I needed to, like, release. So, I just threw some things in the trash. Some things that I was holding on to because, you know, being a DIY, you, it's like you look at containers, for example, and you be like, I know the oil is gone, but maybe I can use it for something else. And before you know it, you got 10,000 bottles like this. And it's like, you think the same thing, but before you know it, you just got a pile of bottles. That's hoarding. And even with the situation with, um, like I said, I want to do something fun and exciting and beneficial all at once. The whole 12 weeks of growth oils, y'all. A part of me is like, yeah, that was a good idea. Maybe to buy as I went along. Because now it's like, I could have used that money for better things. And especially when you hear or you know about a loved one or a family member, you're like, man, I could have helped you, but I spent my money recklessly. And it started to hurt my feelings and kind of be kind of heavy, like burden on me. And it's weighing me down. It's like taking the spirit, my spirit out of me. And I just been taking deep breaths. I made some tea today. I talked with my daughter, have her do some work. You know, it's like, I think us as women, like we tend to try to make busy to keep from pausing and just saying, hey, this is what's wrong. So today, I'm just going to open up and show y'all some things that I regret, some things that maybe will be okay. But here we are. All right. So my video before this one, do not skip around. If you have not watched the last one, go watch that one. Come back here first. But last watch day that was recorded, nice and neat for you guys. I did um, the green apple and aloe. And this was like tax purchase. So it wasn't too bad. And it's a brand that I actually do love. And I did have high hopes for it. And I just, for whatever, you know how some brands, you're just like, I think that probably worked for me. And the main thing is ingredients, coconut, apple, and aloe. I love all those things. And sure enough, this was probably the best shampoo I have yet to try. And this is a great leave-in. Now, is it the best? I don't know because I don't really deal with a bunch of leave-ins. But so far, it's the best. So, well done. And this brings me to, um, well, I'll get to that in a second. But, yeah. So, I got these two. I used it my last wash day. I'm satisfied. Um, no complaints there. I'm very happy. Um, I told y'all that Walmart had a markdown, right? So, they marked things down for the low. This is normally, I think, $10.99 or $11. And I got it for $7. And it's the Apple and Aloe Coconut Nutrition Hold Me Down Jelly. Um, reviews are great. And I actually was looking for another gel or holding gel, styling gel. So what's not to love? I got a, a whole group of products now from the same line, which is usually good depending on what it is. Um, two products that I kind of sort of might regret. I'm not sure yet, but now that I got them home, I'm just like, I don't know. But I got the Curls Cream Brulee Whip Curl Cream. You guys can see that. And the Curls Lavish Curls Moisturizer. These were both on sale for like eight bucks, which I'm pretty sure y'all like what? And I'm like, yeah, because they're normally like 13, 14 bucks. So it was like, yeah, I got a deal, but now that I actually already know what actually works or I don't know, because yeah. So, and then I got this, um, naturally for my son. I noticed that the, um, Shea Moisture hair lotion, like, it did good initially, but the next day his hair was like, hey. And I'm like, oh, like, what in the world? So I can imagine what kind of long-term damage that will be. And so far, this Miel Avocado Moisturizer Hair Milk, um, actually keeps his hair soft. Like, the moisture may be not as good as day one, but at least his hair texture has softened. So, I'm excited to actually try this myself. And so far, my son is good. And I actually got two. Like, that's what I'm talking about, hoarding. Like, I haven't even finished this. And I already got another one because it's just because it's on sale. That's like, that's a mental thing. 
Like I'm trying to soothe myself and trying to convince myself, oh, but I really, really like it. And mind you, I haven't tried it. I mean, of course, my son is just as important as I am, but he's a baby. So that's probably the last long time. Okay, I was in the midst of looking for options with my leave-in. And I saw this and I read the ingredients. And I was like, you know what? This might be all right. Moisturize and strengthen. Um, Jamaica black cast oil, coconut oil, aloe vera juice, and argan oil is included. And that's almost pretty much it. So I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to be digging this. So this was one of the things I'm like, I don't really regret it, but did I actually need it? Could I not have waited? Like, this is one of the things that's always in the store. People don't rush to buy this. So it's like, this probably could have waited. And this was like $5 and change. So I want y'all to do the math or maybe I'll do the math on the, screen, on the screen here so we can keep up with wasted coins. But, um... I use the Miel Rosemary Mint Multivitamin, um, no, this is what I'm reading, but this is the styling cream. Have not used this yet, but y'all did see, oh no, I didn't show y'all that either. Maybe I'll show y'all, but I did a wash day with, um, this shampoo, this deep conditioner, and then it has the hair lotion, and that's it in that line. Um, oh, and the, um, the oil for the scalp, and I already said the oil just feels like it just dry my scalp out. I mean, it's probably good to grow hair. But my scalp was not feeling it. So why did I even think this would be okay with the same ingredients? Literally, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking the water would make a difference. So actually, do I kind of regret buying this? Yes, I do. Now, this next line, I don't regret at all. Because this was almost going to be one of my, you know what, I think I could do with that. And it's the As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaica Black Castor Oil Co-Wash to strengthen my hair. I need a moisture. I need a strength. So, and I need co-wash. I only have one. And this will be my second in the same brand as I am. So, but they're the only ones that seem to be making like consistent co-washes. So, it's like, why not? So, I got that. And I got the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. And the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. And I think this line got a conditioner. But thank God it wasn't in the store because I would have got that too. Because what I'm noticing with the high porosity hair, the less time you in and out the water, the better. So shampoo, deep conditioner of some sort, rinse out. That's it. Like, I, I think the conditioner is kind of not necessary right now. Um, Next up, like I said in the video before, I used the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioner Mask. Awesome. Do not regret. This is a $20 deep conditioner that I got for 9 bucks. This is Fresh Curl Re Re Revitalizing Hair Smoother Avocado and Castor Oil. Y'all, when I say the curls are popping, the curls are popping. Like, I probably can do a wash and go with just this. And I'm thinking about trying it because the curls were amazing. And let's see here. Okay, I think that's it for New New. And then some things I bought previously. The main choice, Tropical Moringa Mask. I regret buying this. Um, I don't think I'm going to need it. Um, the main choice, natural growth retention, is out of Kool-Aid mask. Think I regret it. I don't think that's going to wow me either. And this. I definitely regret this. Um, I tried to use it to slip my hair down. Did not work. Um, I believe coming up, I think I'm going to do a twist out with this on one side. And this on the other. And this is just praying um, aloe vera soothing gel. And we're going to see who does best. Alright, so. Um, I think that's it. Oh, y'all know that, um, like I said, I'm in the oils. And I got this one. This is the green one from the line. I'm, I just did this last week. Um, trying out the blue one. And this one is... Nangai in Tusk Live. I don't know what that is, but it's supposed to strengthen your hair. So that was supposed to be with the oil, but it's like, why did I get that? And I still got a whole bunch of oil to go through. See what I mean? Like at this rate, I'm gonna be doing all different oils every week, and I'm and I'm already over it because one, I'm a lazy natural. Y'all know that. Like if I don't have to put something on my scalp, I'm not going to. And guess what? Right now I don't feel like doing nothing, but I gotta do something, right? Even though I'm not going out of the house. As y'all can see, my edges are growing up. So, even though I look like that child from the H&M thing, Lord, it's not funny, but 
I really do look like her right now. Like, nobody cares about me. Wow. Yeah, did not realize that. All right, so moving on. But yeah, just want to show you guys um, my confessions, what I bought, what I actually didn't need to buy, but I did anyway. Oh, one more, one more. Okay, now this I actually got the receipt for, so it's going back. I got the Shea Moisture Cannabis Hemp Seed Lush Lint Conditioner and Shampoo and Leave-In. And y'all know that Shea Moisture ain't hitting no two cents. I don't know why. I just, in my mind, I'm like, oh, it's on sale, though. And I can actually do a review on it because a lot of people haven't done a review. But it's like, do I want to risk damaging my hair? Like, you stupid. So, that's going back to the store. And that's like, each one will sell for like seven bucks a piece. So, that's seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Twenty-one bucks that I'm going to get. So, yeah. I need y'all to pray for me, you hear? Because I got a tack of this stuff here. And, yo, stuff like this. I need to throw it away. It's gone. Like, this was the extra dark Jamaica Black Castle Oil with Kuza. And this was original bottle. I cleaned out thinking I'm going to use it again. This was the one with lavender. Like, I don't, I'm done with them. Like, I don't know what is going on in my mind. I'm like, I need to hold on to those. Here's a plain castor oil container. Like, Vaseline container. And y'all know when you DIY, like your mind just instantly go to, oh, I could use that. Oh, I could use that. And it's like you never use it because you always want to buy something else. So it's like throw it in the trash. So I'm just coming to you so I can get my mind right and actually show y'all so y'all can be like, uh-uh, Lee, you're supposed to, have to throw that in the trash. Because I sound so country, but please forgive me. But um, this ain't going, y'all. I think this saved my life this week. But that's the thing, like stuff like this that I need to be using and it's, I'm grabbing all this other stuff that I'm not using because with my hair in this state, I don't want it to curl and I got a bunch of stuff that makes curls. But that's a whole other subject. But um, I love you guys. Pray for me. Whew. The devil is a liar. No weapon form against me shall prosper. All seriousness. Like I said, you may be going through a mental breakdown. Like this thing may be wearing a tan at you, but stay strong. Pray. Fast, do whatever you got to do. If you need a special prayer request, drop it down below. My husband, the wholehearted Christian, he has a YouTube. If you want him to pray, he will definitely pray, and he normally prays with me. So the Bible is clear what two or three gather, right? We praying for you guys. So let us know. Um, and also, mental check for all of you that, that are my subscribers. Let me know down below how you're feeling. Like, seriously, like, legit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a picture at the end of this video, and it's kind of like I seen it on Facebook, so I stole it. And it has heart colors based on how you feel, like whether you're okay, you're fine, you're great, you need someone to talk to. So just drop a col the color heart that you are feeling down below and let me know. And like I said, if you have any issues, concern, please let me know that as well. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing.